Okay, so next step we are going to make the marks and the cuts or the piercings in here, the spine of the gatherings that's going to make the holes which we sew the book together through basically. So you have your little pile of gatherings or sections and you kind of knock them up so that they are even against the spine and whatever side you decide is going to be the head or the top of the book. And if you want to avoid confusing yourself, you can make a little mark somewhere. So you can make a, an X for the front of the book and an O for the back of the book. So you know this is the first gathering, top section, top corner. This is the last gathering, top corner. And that usually just makes it a bit easier. So you knock them up, you make sure they're even. And you place them on your cutting mat like this. And here I like to have something to work from. I like to get up a bit from my work surface. So, but you can also do this towards like the edge of a table. If you imagine this is just your edge of the table there. So, and you place the paperweight on them so that they don't move. And we're gonna make the markups, and the markups gonna be basically we're gonna pierce holes through here. I'm gonna pierce holes, and those drills holes we're gonna make the sewing, and we're also gonna attach the sewing supports. So when you make the holes, you're gonna make one hole top and one hole at the tail. So the head and the tail. And you're also going to make holes for each of your sewing supports. And it's going to be the same width as your sewing support. So I have these little plastic dinkies. Come from a table mat, I think. Or from like um, a shelf liner. And I'm going to be using them. Yeah, and I'm going to be using two supports. If you're making a larger book, you might want to use several or more than that. Three to four is kind of common. But I'm using two today. And if you're doing three, you should do the same thing. You just add one extra sewing station. That's all. Okay, so we get a ruler and we make a mark here, one centimeter from the bottom, one centimeter from the top, and I'm going to pull this towards myself to do the markings just so that they get precise, but I'll show you after it. So you get your ruler, and here's where it's handy to have all these square ones, because then you know you get a straight line. Aim, place it at the mark, and you make your mark like that. And you do the same at the bottom. So when you're done, you should have a line that goes just across all of the backs there. And then, usually, you have to sort of divide a little. You kind of want this your sewing station spaced evenly apart, so we're going to share, split this space into three sections, and that's going to and we're going to place our two sewing stations there and there. So this is going to be different for all of you depending on which size of your book you're making. But for this one book that I'm making right now, I have a distance of 11.5 here uh, between my sewing stations. And I will not attempt math on camera. So... 
just divide that in three. So that's 3.8, something like that. So if you divide it in three, you have about one layer and then one layer. And the reason why I'm making this marking so loose is because it's not going to be one marking, it's going to be two. So you have your sewing support, whatever you're using, if you're using a bag handle or if you're using something else. So you basically, you want to make two holes at each side in the same width as the sewing support. So you can just either measure it and be like, okay, it's about a centimeter. Or you can just place it straight onto the spine like that if you don't, if you don't want to measure. And you make your mark mark there and a mark there and same goes for the other side there and there and then you get your ruler and you just make the markings you trim them up a little So again, you'll have these one, two, three, four, five, six lines on your spine. And then you take your cutting tool, if it's a scalpel or if it's a, a snap-off blade or whatever you have. And I'm going to try to show this on camera. So basically the goal here is to pierce through the back of each section pierce through the back of each section so that you can get your needle and thread then from the inside of the section to the outside and basically we just cut here and I'm gonna turn this around towards myself but you get the idea so just cut straight down and make like a little notch Like that, just cut straight down. And I'm doing it like this at this moment just to show you. But if I did it just on my own, I would be doing it towards myself. doing guys okay so so when you're finished basically you want this to be the section and you want to have all these like little little notches cut all along the spine and that's what we're going to make our sewing through 